So this is just a short little video of a hole that we had had in our yard. Previous owners apparently had a tree or a bush or something, and when they removed it, they didn't backfill the hole with dirt first. They just seeded over it, or maybe they did backfill it and it's settled over time. But essentially what we've had is a hole that every time I went to mow the grass, I had to either dodge it or try to straddle over it. Otherwise, I'd have a, a hole that was very visible with the, the cut length of the grass. So, due to the coronavirus and us not having a whole lot to do, I decided this spring to go ahead and cut the sod out, fill the hole in, and then try to get the sod back in. And granted, it is only March 26th, so we still have a lot of spring left. Should have plenty of rain in the future. And it is a good opportunity to take advantage of keeping the sod alive so we don't have to reseed and to fill in the hole. So this is just going to outline some of the steps that I went through. So this first part, you can see I'm taking just a standard shovel, and this is a project that anybody can do at home. So uh, just taking a shovel, laying it about as close to the angle of the, the hole as possible so I minimize the amount of dirt I'm disturbing with the sod, sod cut. I'm trying to keep it down to about an inch or so that I'm cutting, and I'm just working around the outside of the hole, going all the way around it. I know I'm going to cut it into multiple pieces, um, but it's not going to be a big deal. If we have some gaps and stuff, we can see them between those, but I think the grass will stool out enough later on in the season to, to patch itself back together. So I'm working around the outside of the hole, and I'm going to try to get all the, the grass cut loose before I go to digging it out. So just about the end of the circle now, and um, we're going to move on to the next phase of it. So feel free to skip ahead a little bit if you would like. I'm not going to be judgmental. How's everybody hanging out there with the coronavirus? You guys staying healthy? I hope so. By no means is my technique perfect here. It's uh, just something to keep myself occupied, and uh, I know a sod cutter would probably work pretty well, but renting a sod cutter for one little spot like this isn't economical. So I'm just about the, the other corner or the where I started going around. The other real thing I'm trying to do here is I'm practicing with the free tools that come with Windows 10. And this is the video editing software, and uh, to do the voiceover work, I'm using the voice recorder. I'm going to try to merge the two files here, so we'll see how that works out. See how I'm getting the sod to flip up and out of there. It's really hard to see how deep this hole was, and it wasn't like you're going to fall to China by any means, but it was probably a good two inches, three inches deeper than the surrounding soil. So it was enough that obviously it would collect water. Uh, another big problem in the fall, the leaves would collect there and so I was always having to blow the leaves out or rake them out, otherwise you know, potentially kill the grass there in the spot. But, uh, not that our yard's perfect, but if I keep the grass from dying, that's always good. You can see the parent soil is definitely heavy clay. Um, there is some decent darker soil around this area, but I think that's primarily just potentially they brought in a little topsoil at the end. Uh, more than likely it was when they were backfilling the hole, they were using a decent topsoil. So, um, here I just went out to the garden and I grabbed a scoop of dirt. It's got some leaves in it and some other litter. Um, not too worried about the leaves. I'm going to scatter a few in there. It'll just it'll break down eventually. But. Um, Oh, filling in this hole. Most of the dirt is. It's been here ever base. since uh, I, we moved in. Quite a bit. Uh, you make it a little more like topsoil, but it's still pretty wet. It's always here. Ir What's that? Are you filming them for YouTube? Yeah, I'm dicking around on it. See. Why not? Yeah. Cool. What's up, Sammy? I'm trying He's to be real sleeping. ginger with it and uh, not get too big of a clod that goes in. If I do get a clod, kind of break it down. And the whole point of that is I don't want additional settling as, as we uh, go throughout the next year. Uh, I know it will settle some, but wanted to make it a little bit proud of the, around, the surrounding ground just to allow quarter inch, half inch.
bunch of settling uh, when it's all said and done. So that little hiccup there, the, the camera slid down on its tripod, so I had to correct it. But, uh, that's why it looked like I stopped for a mid-afternoon break. Just about done here. I mean, it's uh, getting pretty full. I I kind of walked it over, tamped it down a little bit uh, while the camera was facing down. And uh, of course, that all got edited out. Didn't make the cut, as they say. And that would be my daughter, Isabella. She is going to take a picture of me. What a cat. So now I'm laying the sod, and I'm not really in any particular, uh, or I'm not particular about caring that the, the sod goes back in exactly the same spot, mainly because when it's all said and done, I'm going to patchwork this thing in, and it's going to seal itself together, um, as long as I use up basically all the sod that came out, it should be fine. Um, as you can tell, it is a little bit proud of the, the existing ground there, the, the outside ground, but that will settle as uh, the ground kind of levels itself. The other thing, if it is proud, I can always take a yard roller out there, maybe later this spring and roll over everything. And uh, just patchworking it back in. I've done this process a few times. Uh, we put in a fire pit a couple years ago, and I took the sod out of that, and they had a flower bed out in the middle of the yard. I had to dig that out. Way. I found that there was no black ones there, and so uh, needless to say, it all got removed. But I used that sod patch in that area because it had been nice to have good existing sod. And it actually worked out really well. Uh, the sod took, and that was in the spring project as well, the sod took really well. And uh, you can't even see it at this point. First year there was a few. Uh, we call them sour dock. I don't know if that's the proper name for it, but it's um, a weed that's kind of a it's kind of woody stem. But it was growing around the edge and worked to get that killed out over the last couple of years. And now the sod has merged itself. You can't see where one was and the other was. The other nice thing about doing it this way is you get the same exact grass type, so you don't accidentally get Kentucky 31 mixed in with your Kentucky Blue, so um, doing this is, is a good, effective way of patching in as long as grass takes. If it was a little later in the year, I would suggest watering and making sure that you have a sprinkler set up just to give the sod a little bit more um, I guess help along, but for the most part this should do just fine. We've got rain coming in today and for the next couple days, so that should be enough to kind of get it sealed down, and then you know, if we do end up getting a dry period, which I highly doubt, we could add additional water. But two or three weeks of decent rain, this grass should be kind of rooting itself back in. Can't imagine will be distracting. My patented squish squish, I'm trying to get it kind of pushed down. just about done. And what's amazing is, even though I edited a, you know, a minute or two out of this and there was some transition time, it really was a quick process. Um, essentially, I don't know, 20 minutes and then just basically start to finish. Mid late March, like it's time for spring. One little piece of sod left there, trying to find a spot for it to go. Oh, I, you know what, man? I would mow every day if I had to do that and this. Yeah. 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 Ready? Looks like a fifth. Pick it up. Like five minutes, sorry. Right? It's like driving a square peg into a round hole. There's another piece of that little saying, but, uh, I'm not gonna go into it here. Do a square in a circle. <laughs> and 
that wraps it up. Thanks for watching.